welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Come inside with Mark the Movie Man as we take a look at the short horror film called Teddy. It's making the festival circuit right now. Now, this film is a send-up to the 80s slasher film. It's also a prime example that you do not need a whole lot of time to tell a solid 80s slasher film story. Now, I don't know what that says about the genre, but what it says about Teddy is that this is a well-made, low-budget film, okay? We get the story of four college co-eds who get more than they bargain for as they are camping in the woods and stalked by a slasher for reasons we see earlier in the film. Uh, I'm not going to ruin it for you, but you, you get the point, and we get to see him dispatched in mean and nasty ways. Uh, folks, there's some great things to appreciate about in Teddy, okay? It's proof, once again, that you don't need that big, huge budget to give you a decent horror movie. Now, we get a great, iconic character in the form of Teddy, this kind, this slasher who carries around this beat-up teddy bear, and there's a great shot in there where Teddy's uh, mask looks like the teddy bear that he's pulling around a bit. I, I just love that imagery, and director Steve Goltz does some great uh, direction in this film to make it really feel like a true, authentic pulled out of the 80s slasher film, okay? Uh, also produced by uh, Kevin Summerfield, who plays Aaron, one of the characters in the film as well, and the character Clay. I, I gotta mention the character Clay, because out of all the characters in here, uh, he really stands out and steals the show in every scene he's in. He had me rolling, because Teddy not only has great classic 80s slasher horror elements to it. It has some comical moments in it as well that just with characters that just make you laugh, okay? And Clay is one of those. Loved his character. He was the true embodiment of every a-hole jock beer guzzling character we ever saw in the 80s slasher film. And he plays it to a T and it was really entertaining to see him on the screen uh, in any scene that he was in. Okay, everybody else does fantastic as well. They know they're doing a send up to the 80s slasher film, but none of the dialogue is delivered horribly. All of it feels authentic and it feels like everybody's putting in a true performance and it comes across the screen. Okay, this is a true slasher film that, that we've seen out of the 80s before. They do it very well at replicating that feel, the creepiness of the slasher, Teddy carrying around that creepy teddy bear. I just, that's great imagery as well, and a great character. And I'd love to see this film into a big feature, but you don't need to because it tells a complete story. It's the complete horror package in a nice, less than 15 minute film that you must see, okay? And where can you see it? Well, it's on the festival circuit. You can also go to Slasher Studios, check it out if you want to, give some support and buy a copy of this film. Or you can come to the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival in the Great Cheesehead City of Oshkosh on October 6th, where Teddy is going to be shown on the big screen there along with another project from the same studio, I do believe. You can check out the listing of their films uh, that are going to be filmed, uh, that are going to be shown at the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival. And if you're a movie maker out there, still time to submit your film for the Madison Horror Film Festival. I'm going to be at both of them, okay? So check out Teddy at the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival. Check out both film festivals if you're a fan of independent horror film or if you're just a fan of great film making. So definitely give your support. Check them out at the festivals. And until next time, folks, keep that ticket stuff. <laughs>